Hello group number one, welcome to today's reading. Today we're doing how do people view you based off of your appearance. So that's the reading for today. Before I start the reading, I just want to ask you guys, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. If you watch my videos regularly, um, please subscribe because a lot of my viewers are not subscribed. That's why I'm asking. Anyway, let's start the reading. I'll start with these cards. Then we'll take a look at the other ones in a bit. So you chose the rider card, number one, the rider. Then we have the crow, air element. And this is making me think of Saturn also. Maybe you have a prominent Saturn in your chart because crows are connected with Saturn energy. Also, it's black. And the air element, or Saturn is a dry planet. It's an airy planet. So it's making me think of Saturn. We have haughtiness here with this peacock. Uh, the tarot deck that I use, uh, this one I pulled a card for you as well, this tarot deck, uh, there's the card King of Wands that has this uh, peacock sort of imagery. So it's reminding me of that card as well. We have Rose here, 4-1. Four, 4 is the number we connect with uh, Rahu, North Node of the Moon. 1 is Sun, 1 is here as well. So some of you could maybe possibly have Sun and Rahu conjunction. We have the two of cups here and we have the fifth house. I'm just going to keep it on the side here. So the first thing that I'm picking up is uh, beauty here with this uh, rose. It, it says right here beauty and rugged health and peacock is also connected to beauty. So there's something about um, your beauty that's coming through pile number one where people notice that you're beautiful. They might compliment you also a whole lot. There's this passionate energy that I'm also feeling here with fifth house passion. It's uh, this is the house that we connect with dating, going out, having fun, connecting with people. This is also uh, the house we see for love. So love affairs or uh, just love in general. Seventh house is spouse and relationship. Fifth house is love. So someone who has a lot of planets in fifth house would probably date a lot of people or they would have a lot of activity there and uh, there are other things also connected to the fifth house fifth house is also um, the house we connect with children and overall also i was getting this uh, feeling of someone young or youthful someone attractive fun vibrant sort of a personality that's what i'm getting with this pile so far so people see you as maybe you also look younger than your age that's one thing and uh, i think people also could uh, miss understand you or let's say they might form the wrong opinion of you initially they might think of you as someone who's immature someone who's uh, not as experienced because we do have the satin energy so i feel like once they get to know you maybe talk to you a little bit it's air element so it can talk about communication as well so maybe once they interact they get to know you they might uh, change their opinion of you okay and uh, Coming back to fifth house, this passion energy, we also have the two of cups, which is that interaction. It's a connection to people coming together. It's union. Okay. It's also chemistry, sparks that I'm seeing here. So a lot of people might find you very attractive. They might fall for you. They might crush on you very easily. Uh, there's this energy of people having their eye on you. That's one thing I'm getting here. Attractive person. Some people even maybe they tell you that uh, uh, they fell for you the first time they uh, saw you. That sort of, you know, love at first sight sort of a thing I'm picking up. You're very attractive. You look really well or you dress really well. Here also I'm drawn towards the rider. The outfit is very, I don't know, it's very appealing. Usually we see a rider. I'm not drawn towards the outfit. But here I am and obviously we have the peacock. There's a lot of green also. Maybe you wear a lot of green. Maybe green could look good on you. Rose definitely talks about beauty, looks. People are drawn towards you. Uh, you might catch people's attention. So a room full of people, a lot of people might be staring at you compared to everyone else. Actually, I want to keep it here. The white ones together. This will look better. Okay. So yeah, uh, also... People might think of you as someone who's a show off. This is a message. Take it if it resonates. Not every single message 
is for you because this is uh, how people assume you to be you know or how people view you based off your appearance so just looking at you a uh, few interactions early interactions what are some of the things people are picking up on so i'm getting this energy of a person some people might think of you as a show off that's the energy of a peacock someone who's uh, that superficial energy the image the uh, vibe that you give out the way you dress it's about the image you create in other people's mind so some people might think you're a show off they might think that uh, you're trying to project an image you want to be taken seriously also with this crew so some people might even say oh this person's pretending to be all intelligent or wise they're pretending to be older than they are they want to be taken seriously that sort of energy i'm getting here with rider this is about moving someone who is a go getter there's a lot of movement either you could have this personality where you tend to chase after things or let's say you're very passionate so your hobby is your work your studies you're very active sort of a person you don't take a back seat or this could talk about a lot of people are drawn towards you so with this two of cups energy maybe people chasing after you you not being interested i'm picking up both the energies yeah that's what i'm getting lots of movement maybe you are fond of traveling you come across as a person who uh, has a lot of uh, things going on so a lot of people interesting in you interested in you and uh, a person who has a lot of options that's what i'm getting lots of op options or just a person who's uh, a little busy and there's a lot of uh, things happening around you that sort of energy i'm getting here with the rider also we see the horse is uh, facing that direction and the person is facing backwards so there was uh, something about past and the future the crow also said something about crow is uh, in touch with the past present and future so you have this energy where maybe people from the past keep coming back to you or this this energy of uh, learning from the past reflecting on the past and incorporating that wisdom that lesson into the future so you're a very um intelligent person where you learn from your mistakes that's one thing i'm getting with the crow and uh, this rider energy just the imagery is making me think of that a person who reflects on the past you might also have this habit of reflecting on the past maybe talking about the past a whole lot where people notice this person um keeps talking about the past okay i'm getting that so what i'm getting overall the message that i'm seeing when people view you just looking at you what are some of the things they think one thing i'm seeing is a person who's a uh, in control we have the sun energy coming up twice with the number 1 so you come across as a person who wants to be in charge and there is also this masculine energy of the sun also uh, taking initiative taking action moving forward okay and then learning and having spiritual wisdom also with this crow this can talk about a person who's spiritually wise we have the sun energy here we have the saturn energy saturn is also a worker so your work could be very important to you it's your image is very important and the image you're trying to project the um who you are and how you want to be perceived is important to you so your image and uh, your work is important to you something about your personality something about who you are as a person is important and you want to be taken seriously you want to be respected that's how you come across i also get this sense that people might look at you and feel like you're a little manipulative or you try to charm people there's that charmer sort of energy i'm picking up here with the peacock maybe using your looks having that pretty privilege that sort of energy people drawn towards you because they're attracted to you they're uh, falling for you okay something about your romantic life is coming through so maybe people naturally a lot of people are drawn towards you either they want the gossip or they want to date you they want to know is this person single so i can pursue them okay so overall the image is you're good looking people notice that people might also feel like you use your looks you use your charms to get forward in your life but overall you come across as a person where your passions your work is very important to you and you want to be taken seriously your image is important to you because fifth house is naturally connected to leo sign leo is all about the king 
king energy someone who needs to be respected someone who wants to be taken seriously someone who wants to be in charge so masculine energy again a leader being proactive and calling the shots okay let's keep going you also got the eternal child see we have number 4 here again so four is coming up rahu and sun could be prominent in your chart maybe saturn also and leo energy probably maybe let's say you have leo ascendant and you have rahu sitting in the first house that sort of energy overall i'm picking strong influence so far of sun north node of the moon and saturn okay then we have the threshold so see here i was getting that uh, young energy we have the eternal child coming up again fifth house is also connected to children so you could come across as someone young people might also not take you seriously they might write you off because you're young and you look young people there's something about young energy either your personality or your looks where people just see you and they're like oh this person's young i'm not going to take them seriously or this person looks younger than their age okay or you have that bright fun personality that people tend to notice here i'm also drawn towards it almost looks like the sun here with the image so maybe you have sun and mercury conjunction and also i was just thinking because i pick up multiple placements in every reading so let's say if you resonate with the younger sort of a message that i'm giving here then maybe um or let's say whatever your chart is let's say you have sun and mercury conjunction then take the message that i'm talking about that is connected to mercury energy if you have more of a saturn sort of a placement in your chart then take the message that's connected to the saturn that i'm giving here with the crow okay past present future energy someone who's perceptive someone who's spiritual was a lot of wisdom maybe a little um closed off also like a having professional sort of a speech and also not sharing your emotions way too much that's very saturn like okay and let's say if you have rahu and sun then it's talking about this card beauty people are drawn towards you they might find you manipulative because rahu is that energy of manipulation charming people okay or trying to uh, dominate others maybe or influence other people's decision so uh, whenever you find that your placement is being talked about then connect that message with you not every single message is for you so keep that in mind then uh, we have the threshold which speaks about a person who will make it big it's like you're th on the threshold of something major here also i see this uh, um the color is making me think of sun fiery sort of uh, color right reminding me of sun so um people expect you to make it big people also see that you're trying to come across as um in such a way where you want to be taken seriously i'm getting that strongly with this pile where you want to be respected maybe some of you are good looking that's why people might um have certain preconceived notions they might say oh this person's going to be dumb because they're good looking you know these stereotypes that we have so you want to break that you want to be taken seriously or if you look look younger then you want to be taken seriously because of that because some people just uh maybe uh what's the word push you around push over consider you like a push over or something you take yourself seriously and you want to be taken seriously that's what i'm getting so far okay here we have swa swa how do you say that swa swadhyay oh yeah swad swadhyay which means self study so uh again i'm getting that message of uh, self reflection here we had that message of looking into the past right so self study this is uh, that energy and i'm glad that sun energy came out for you sun is all about uh, when person is focused on themselves it's the soul who you are as a person what do you want to do where you want to go what do you want to achieve what are your goals what are your passions what are your hobbies what's your work so it's that strong energy of a person who in a way not in a negative way but is self obsessed so people notice that you are um, very much uh, obsessed with yourself or you're very focused on yourself you want to always let's say um work on yourself you take care of your health you take care of your looks and uh, you study fifth house can also be sometimes connected to studying uh, it's connected to our studies here also we see a book here book image so person who's uh, you want to grow you want to evolve and uh, there's this energy where um, here also we have the child and that mercury energy of being a student and learning 
so what i'm seeing is a person who's working on themselves this is how people notice you they see okay this person's very much focused on themselves the sun element and the self reflection also here so you learn from your mistakes you also reflect back on your mistakes you could be someone who's hard on yourself and getting that energy so people notice okay this person is not someone um that uh, is living in autopilot mode no you're working on yourself you're very uh, present that's what i'm getting we have envy here so you could attract a lot of people's envy people might uh, be jealous of you for whatever reason okay maybe putting evil eye on you and here we have saturn energy also which is connected to the aspect of saturn it's connected to drishti the look which is bringing me back to nb so uh if you have maybe it would be hard for me to explain but certain people who uh their saturns uh the saturn in their chart connecting with any of your personal planets uh, they might uh, there could be something going on with the synastry where the saturn is affecting you so people putting evil eye on you people having negative thoughts or being jealous so you might have this tendency to protect your energy which you should actually i want to move these here these two cards okay yeah this is better so yeah envy you attract a lot of people's envy because again you come across as an important person and also you're good looking so a lot of people might feel triggered uh, their insecurities might be triggered by your personality you could also be someone who's confident very self assured and uh, people might try to uh, find the little insecurities that you have and then push your buttons somehow that might also happen next year we have authority moves you know what is best for you see again you're self assured you don't need people's uh, opinions you don't need people's advice and again i'm getting that masculine energy of the sun here because this is more authority figure it's um more of that sun energy sun mars masculine energy that i'm picking up here so if you're a girl watching this people notice that you're more masculine than the average girl or you're someone who is opinionated and uh, you have strong opinions on things and you don't necessarily seek other people's validation you might also not be someone who's seeking people's attention attention is naturally given to you somehow and if you're a guy people notice how you're masculine you're the authority figure you like to call the shots you might be a little dominating also so you come across as a person who's a slightly more masculine and a very self focused passionate also opinionated fiery sort of a temperament is what i'm getting and you're good looking you attract a lot of attention this is why because you have this uh, a uh, magnetic sort of a personality you have all these great qualities that people might also feel a little bit of envy towards you here we have contentment and we have a little dog here also maybe you have a pet it says be content as you are so see someone who um it reminds me of a quote from kurt cobain which i used to love um the quote was i don't remember the quote but i used to love that quote it was basically about you should not try to be someone else they can only be one you i i can't remember the quote but if you know the quote please leave it down below if i remember this portion i might look the quote up and leave it in a comment or i'll pin the comment let me if i remember but uh, it reminds me of that quote which is about how you're only one person there's no one else like you and you should uh, not try to emulate someone else because you are um, just amazing the way you are and you have this energy very strong about you where you're not trying to be someone else you you might be someone who doesn't have let's say crushes or you might be someone who doesn't have uh, um, you know certain people they are obsessed with certain celebrities and they have these heroes and they're trying to be like someone else you don't have this quality you might be someone with a strong sun and usually this is something people notice okay uh, people who are obsessed with uh, celebrities people who let's say they meet a celebrity they start crying and they want to take a picture um you know it's because their sun is weak you'll notice that a person with a strong sun they will never look at a celebrity and be like i want to take a picture with them they'll just look in their direction they'll move along because they are the sun they are the uh, center of attention for them sun is uh, what draws the attention sun is the fame also in a way 
so usually you would notice celebrities have a strong sun that's why the masses are attracted towards the celebrity and also people who, who have a strong sun they are not the ones who are chasing after celebrities asking for a selfie or anything like that so you come across as a person who's very content you're not trying to impress anyone and you're, you don't care about other people's opinion to a strong degree that's what i'm getting so like i said maybe you're someone who doesn't have like a hero you don't have a celebrity crush you're not um i don't know you're not really obsessed with people that way and i also pulled one tarot from my favorite deck so you got the 3 of coins which is very similar to the energy i was getting earlier it's like you're marching to the beat of your own drum and the people are upset people are bothered hot, hot and bothered about you and also that energy of evil eye you know we got the envy here we have the saturn here also saturn is sometimes connected to evil eye because it's the drishti of saturn so the eye evil eye right that's very saturn sort of a quality that we see so here we see these people putting the evil eye and you're just enjoying life and see we have peacock feathers also i didn't even notice that earlier but you do make a, a person who's good with because 3 of coins is connected with collaboration people so you have these um, qualities of working with people so again the sun the king archetype is connected to sun and sun is good with the masses the masses come to the sun to solve their problem right so we do have this energy of collaboration working with other people helping other people and learning from other people working with them but at the same time you might attract other people's envy as well okay so this is what i'm getting overall earth element is also here which is connected to work our contribution you know what we do for work that's very important to you i was getting that message earlier as well so yeah this is the reading for you pile number 1 let me know how it resonates with you leave a comment if you like my videos you want to support the channel consider becoming a member if you want to book a reading with me some people are having confusion about what reading to get so if you have any sort of confusion you can write to me on email and then i'll help you figure out which reading is best for you so um yeah if you want to book a reading email me and thank you for watching bye guys hello group number 2 welcome to today's reading um uh, before i start the reading i just want to say if you haven't subscribed and if you watch my videos regularly uh please subscribe because i noticed that a major portion of the viewers are not subscribed so i just wanted to say that okay for today's reading the topic is what's the topic um how people view you based off your appearance okay so i'm starting out with these cards you pick the moon card okay and we do have the moon's number also here two notes uh this is jupiter this is moon okay and i'm drawn towards the eight also eight of uh, hearts making me think of uh scorpio why because hearts we connect with water cups energy right and eight is the the number zodiac number of uh, scorpio so some of you could have uh, moon in scorpio I, i a lot of my viewers do have that even though i don't have this uh, placement i've noticed usually it's the energy that you carry that's the kind of people you attract but i do have a prominent scorpio in my chart that's why a lot of people are drawn towards my content and they do have uh, i get a lot of comments with people saying i have moon in scorpio and i know also people in my personal life who have this placement so it does come through quite a bit so some of you people could have moon in scorpio you could have moon in a water sign or moon prominent which is true even for me cuz my name means the moon so uh, moon is the strongest planet in my chart so you could have a similar situation where moon let's say you have cancer ascendant you have moon in the first house moon in the seventh house moon somehow is prominent some of you could also have moon in uh, south node of the moon moon ketu i've seen people who have great intuition they have this placement we have the bat here also i'm drawn towards the moon in the image we have bat we have wedding so interesting cards came out for this uh, particular pile we have the bear queen of cups not surprised she came out that's the energy i was getting here with the moon we have venus also so some of you could have moon venus conjunction you could have moon or venus in the fourth house or moon uh, sorry venus in a water sign maybe exalted venus 
but uh, what i'm seeing first of all there's so much feminine energy that's coming through a lot of girls or female pe- uh, females might be picking this pile or uh, guys who have uh, who are more in touch with their feminine side could be picking this pile there's so much water here moon and venus are the two most feminine planets in astrology okay here also we see uh, moon and here we have the queen of cups the feminine archetype see so there's so much that's coming to that's already very feminine this is about union very similar to the venus energy wedding two people coming together wedding marriage relationship spouse that's all venus so there's so much water coming through feminine energy coming through already some of you could also have moon jupiter conjunction that's one more thing i'm getting or moon in sagittarius that is another uh, i've seen people with this placement in my life or clients even that's a prominent placement moon in sagittarius or moon sitting with jupiter so much astrology already i'm going to talk about the cards now so what i'm seeing here uh, a lot of the usually there's different piles and there's one pile that's connected to the more light workers people who are into tarot astrology because i get a lot of people who uh, do tarot readings themselves tarot readers watching my videos so i feel like this is the light worker pile people who have great intuition even if you're not a uh, light worker you could have uh, you could be someone who has strong intuition or uh, you are good at judging people right you're good at uh, you know first impressions where you can just judge the person if you like them or not or people who have good foresight people who are emotionally mature they have high emotional what do you call it intelligence eq emotional intelligence i think that's the energy i'm getting the people who are in touch with their intuition this is that pile because so much moon is here moon is connected to our intuition femininity also a person who's very feminine so when people look at you they see the feminine traits that you have some of you picking this pile you could have a round face you could be someone who has a fuller body let's say slightly more heavier or uh, your feminine features round eyes something about being rounded off also if you follow um kibi body type you could be a romantic uh, body type full lips that sort of thing i'm getting that anyway it's about your looks your feminine traits also uh, you could be someone with a soft speech let's say or someone who has a kind maybe kind eyes there's some energy about you that's motherly that's the uh, sweet caring kind nurturing where people feel like okay they can open up to you or they feel like this person will be kind or this person is going to be sweet i want to connect with this person because they seem like a nice person or this person will make a great friend or this person will make a great partner you come across as a uh, relationship material with wedding coming up also we have the queen which is the see we have the queen here we also have this king image here and this is clubs i connect with wands so we see like a couple here with fire and water so uh, really masculine guys could be attracted to you if you, you're really feminine or just that contrast that i'm picking up here with the masculine and feminine the uh, attraction opposites attract that sort of energy i'm getting but there's a lot of romantic feelings coming through people might also look at you and sense that this person will be romantic or this person is someone where relationships are important to them or this person is looking for a commitment there someone who who's looking for um settling down that sort of energy someone serious in love someone who's very dedicated commit to their partner loyal this is how you come across a lot of people see you as um relationship material like i said someone that uh, they would want to settle down with or you come across as the archetype of the wife also if you're female and also some something about you which is traditional with wedding this is very traditional it's giving me sagittarius energy again it's giving me sagittarius again sagittarius is religion um you know temple and traditional values like a family setup so you come across as someone uh, traditional maybe you wear a lot of you know you cover yourself up that sort of energy i'm also getting i see a lot of people covered up completely more traditional values um more homely maybe you live with your family you're someone who's very close to your family or let's say 
you follow the family traditions or uh, there's some restriction also maybe from your family where you kind of have to please them you have to appease your parents something like this or their opinion uh, really dictates your life something of that is also coming through take the message only if it resonates maybe it's for someone else but i'm getting that strongly where you come across as a person who's uh, people look at you and they feel like this person is uh, kind of controlled by their family or uh, this person is uh, like mama's boy daddy's boy or mama's girl daddy's girl you know that sort of a uh, vibe i'm getting where people just assume that uh, you need your parents approval over things or your parents are controlling or there's a family legacy family reputation you know that sort of vibe i'm getting here you could also come across as someone who's moody maybe with moon it can reflect cycles or a person who's slightly moody so uh, you are a little unpredictable so people feel like okay how do i judge this person they're so pre- uh, unpredictable and you also come across as a little mysterious where people feel like they don't truly know you and you hide your emotions you hide some secrets and you also hide some wisdom that you have because you have this intuitive uh, quality where you might say certain things that hey don't uh, trust this person and the person ends up trusting the person and they get played so they feel like oh this person knew something right so it's that energy of a person who's um I don't know it's almost like you have some hidden knowledge that other people don't have and they notice that about you and they feel like this person hides things this person's mysterious you might not share your secrets you might share advice you might counsel others but you'll not tell them where you're getting this knowledge from there's this element of mystery around you okay yeah let's keep going if something else comes up i'll touch on that as well here we have the flame so flame first of all if you are indian um you could have that name jyoti you know because this is the jyoti so any tiny sort of flame it's jyoti even jyotish uh, the word for astrology in hindi is jyotish which is connected to jyoti flame bringing illumination to others life that's uh, that's the whole uh meaning for the word jyotish and this is uh, kind of uh, reflects what astrology is you're helping people you're bringing some light okay um so if you're not indian then i just want to talk about maybe i'm getting this mars ketu conjunction some of you could have mars ketu conjunction because mars is fire or it can also be sun and ketu is something small so think of uh, a little candle flame that's a uh, ketu something uh, rahu is uh, let's say a bomb bomb exploding that's huge that's expansive uh, that's rahu ketu is a uh, small tiny so uh, this is giving me ketu energy some of you could also have like i said moon ketu maybe or somehow ketu could be prominent or ketu also co rules the uh, sign of scorpio so maybe you guys have prominent scorpio in your chart see we have water element here also this is always makes me think of pisces energy some of you could uh, for nakshatras uh, what nakshatra could this be maybe kritika flame there's one that's connected to flame maybe vishakha also because the deity is indra agni and this is agni fire and then uh, this is giving me pisces energy so some of you could have uttara bhadrapada nakshatra revati uh, it's making me think of that there's so much here about eyes that's coming through i don't know why but i see the eye here and uh, the flame itself is connected to uh, the ability to see things so it's our eyesight see and moon is also connected to the left eye or um, seeing things in general so something about your eyes maybe you have beautiful eyes people are drawn towards your eyes or it it can again speak about a person who has foresight a person who has intuition they have uh, an active third eye so it's a lot of uh, symbology that i'm picking up on so you can interpret the message according to your own thing you can also let me know what's uh, what are you getting with this eye thing maybe you some of you could also have blue eyes people compliment your eyes or uh, you are also very watchful a person who's always looking observing others that's also a very scorpion sort of a trait okay okay so i got distracted i'm back 
I was talking about blue eyes, something about your eyes, then uh, being generous also. Moon is some that energy of uh, nurturing other people, and we have the Pisces energy, which I also connected with Revati. Revati is the nourisher. Uh, that uh, I've seen uh, Revati is one of the nakshatras, but which is always connected to giving, and being very generous, being very motherly. That's Revati energy overall. So strong Revati vibes in this pile. But overall, twelfth uh, house or Pisces energy is about giving. So someone who's generous, someone who's spiritual, someone who's uh, likes isolation, sitting alone by themselves, or people who like uh, who donate or who uh, volunteer, they uh, help out for like a social cause or something like that, or people who like going on pilgrimages or long distance travel, foreign lands. That's very much Pisces energy that I'm getting here. so you come across as a person who's very helpful and very kind you think about others a very opposite to the first pile which was very self centered self focused not in a negative way um this pile is about others uh think of moon moon is about reflection it's not itself um it reflects sun's energy so someone who's good at reflection someone who's uh, um can pick up other people's feelings how someone is feeling they comfort other people a person with a strong moon energy naturally people are drawn towards them they feel very comforted in their presence and uh, i kind of feel like should i share something personal i don't know because i have a strong moon in my chart a moon in 7 so that's why a lot of the times you know people are drawn towards getting a reading from me and uh, they feel um, i don't know i get a lot of amazing feedback on my personal readings and people say um I don't know. I don't want to repeat what people say, but it's that energy of someone feeling comforted, someone feeling understood. It's because that's what I do for others. Because I have this natural inclination with my moon placement. Also, people, even in my personal life, they would call me up and they'll uh, cry in front of me or they'll share their feelings. Even though I don't do the same, I'm very closed off. So. people who have strong moon naturally other people feel comfortable in their presence first uh, they somehow trust that person and they also express their emotions they feel vulnerable in their presence they feel like i feel safe in this person's energy so i can share my feelings so that's the kind of energy you invoke where people feel comfortable in your presence they feel like you're a soft gentle person and you're kind and somehow you'll help them moon is about reflection also so some people look at you it makes them reflect on deeper things ocean here this energy of something that's deep something that's within us uh things that we ignore so you uh somehow invoke or motivate people somehow where they feel like they also reflect on things they learn from you maybe you give a lot of spiritual wisdom also to others so you make people reflect you also make people others look good moon is about reflection right So yeah that's what I'm getting so far let me put this I feel like I can just go on and on these cards are very I don't know with this pile I feel a different sort of a feeling so a lot of messages coming through maybe a lot of people picking this pile here we have Lalita Tripuri Tripura Sundari she is one of the deity she is also connected to um uh good looks femininity she is kind of like the divine feminine mother but also that nurturing mother sort of a energy so she is the perfect ar archetype where i think of both moon and venus not just the one and we see this shri yantra in the back which is also about prosperity abundance inviting that energy into your life so see you helping other people you making other people's life better as opposed to pile number 1 which was very about self reflection growth or a person who always wants to grow evolve and very focused on themselves with this pile it's that energy of helping others guiding others and learning from others it's a very interactive sort of a energy that i'm seeing here and you bring in a lot of abundance to others you helping other people you healing other people somehow shri yantara is uh, connected to prosperity and she is the deity that is connected to femininity so you could be someone who's very feminine very beautiful people notice your beauty and they see the beauty in your character also beyond just the looks we have kriya so it's me it makes me think of kriya yoga which is also one of the ways uh, we see liberation moksha a uh, lot of people we have all these uh, we have gyana yoga kriya yoga bhakti yoga 
different types of yogas it's not a uh, yoga asan it's not body postures this is not exercise this is certain uh spiritual activities that we do to get closer to god to liberate our souls so it's something deeper i can see uh spiritual wisdom bringing other people uh, some sort of wisdom and kriya is also about movement so another way that i'm seeing uh, that moon's energy that's always changing moving cycles movement so you bringing progress in other people life helping them to move on from things from the past things that they're struggling with and uh now it's making sense these cards came out and i thought how can someone because the reading is how do people view you based off of your looks so broken heart came out and then this card says door to personal healing and happiness i was like how does this even fit into the reading and sometimes i just pull the cards and they start to make sense when i'm doing the reading okay so i just kept these cards i was kind of tempted to put them back because two came out i usually take one i thought you know what these are kind of uh, connected so i'm just going to keep them and they'll make sense later and now it makes perfect sense people coming to you uh, where they've faced some sort of hardship some sort of a heartbreak and uh, we see a tear also something that's affecting people their psyche and then you open this door of healing to others it's a door personal healing and happiness so you bring in some light illumination with moon we do connect the um light also we have the flame which is also connected to light bringing light into other people's life bringing a ray of hope here also we have surrender order let go of control people letting go of control also this energy of surrendering so learning that uh, spiritual wisdom from you so when people look at you they notice a person who's very soft kind gentle they feel comfort in your energy they also notice that you have some sort of spiritual wisdom something they can learn from and they just naturally open up to you people are naturally drawn towards you for their emotional needs somehow or to become a friend or to it's not that energy of uh, trying to impress you or uh, to date you it's not exactly that energy it's uh, that energy of feeling at home feeling peace you know that's what i'm getting here also we have black mage this is kind of like the high priestess sort of energy but the male version so maybe guys also picking this vibe maybe a lot a lot of guys could be drawn to you who uh, because guys tend to be um, very not that they're not emotional but they don't express their emotions very freely and they don't express it with a lot of people so maybe a lot of people or your guy friends or people that you connect with they have an outlet to express their emotions with you they might not do it with their other friends or in relationships uh, men might open up to you more than they did with their other partners watch your ego as you prepare for change that could be an advice but overall this is the energy of that uh, male high priestess or the hierophant that i'm getting here with this card finally for tarot you also got the wheel of fortune this is the card i connect with jupiter energy always a person who's a counselor a person who's a guide who helps other people and this card this spider imagery also makes me think of uh, money here also we have a uh, bear which is connected to speculation money um so what i'm seeing here is person of high value bringing abundance to other people's life you shri yantra also so you could also be generous with your money or you come across as a person who has good money who dresses really well you belong to a nice family there's a legacy there or uh, something about money or a person of high value so you are someone where people respect you because uh, you come across as a person who uh, has good standards and you have these morals you have these principles and you treat people fairly you're a nice person you have good character so people see you as a high value person that's what i'm getting with the jupiter jupiter is also the guide the counselor you give good advice people feel comfort in your energy people feel more positive after speaking to you a person with a good jupiter and see we got the jupiter energy earlier, earlier as well here with number 3 so a person with a strong jupiter um they always make you feel better um after the interact interaction a person with a strong uh, saturn if you go and meet that person you will come back you will feel more uh, a little drained out you will feel more pessimistic you will try to be more logical that saturn energy person who carries saturn energy if you go and meet a person with strong jupiter you will come out of that interaction feeling more positive so you have that energy of jupiter with you and you bring abundance into other people's life 
I gave that message earlier also I'm again getting it with the wheel of fortune so and also bringing a change so flow with all this water energy it's about flow so there's some movement happening so you bring in movement and you bring in clarity to other people when it comes to emotional matters so that's what I'm seeing overall lovely reading I love this pile I connect with uh, I connect it connect with it myself as well so yeah that's the reading let me know your thoughts leave your comments if you want to book a reading with me some people are a bit confused which reading to get so um, you can check out the readings that I offer on the Kofi link but if you have any sort of confusion you can email me I'll help you pick which is the best suited reading for you so if you want to book with me let me know leave me a drop me an email if you want to support my work you want to support my channel you can become a member that would help me out and that's it thank you for watching bye guys hello group number three welcome to today's reading today we're doing how people view you based off of your appearance so before i start the reading i just want to say if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel because i noticed that a lot of my viewers are not subscribed so just wanted to say that let's start your reading you chose the store card we have number 17 we have cheetah here I don't know what's going on with my voice. We have number 37. So Ketu is coming up twice here. We have 7 repeating. 3 is the number of Jupiter. We have Sun energy also with 1. We have waiting. <coughs> Excuse me. We have 2 of pentacles. I actually I want to keep these 2 together. And we have North Node, Rahu. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, first of all, there's some dynamic energy, movement. I see a ship in the back sailing. I see moving water here. And we have the cheetah that's running. And Stork is also connected to movement, forward movement. So you come across as a person who's very dynamic. You could also be more in your masculine energy, very similar to pile number one. Today's reading, pile number one and three are slightly similar and two is very different than the other two piles. So I'm seeing some masculine energy. I also see this fire sign and the colors are also very masculine. These are the colors associated with uh, the masculine planets like Sun, Mars and Jupiter. So I'm picking up some masculine energy in this pile. So you come across as a person, if you're masculine, then fine. If you're female picking this pile, you might come across as a person who's a bit uh, more fiery. You could have a temper or you could come across as someone who tries to dominate others or maybe control things. Or you have this habit of uh, maybe being a little fiery with your speech because I have these, uh, what do you call it? These sword swords almost and it's giving me that energy of uh, argument someone with blunt speech because swords we naturally connect with the air element so i get this feeling of a person who's uh, very opinionated or someone who gets into arguments maybe uh, gets heated up very quickly but also calms down very easily as well because we do have some water here also in the back so water imagery is also coming through. We have fire, water, both coming through. Masculine, feminine energy is here. It's just that uh, if you're female, maybe your masculine qualities are more amplified. And if you're a guy, then your feminine qualities might be a little more amplified or emphasized here. Uh, maybe you're sensitive. You get hurt easily. Stork talks about movement. A uh, person who's very abundant. So... People view you as a person uh, where uh, they would be better off being in contact with you. So being friends with you, um, you come across as a person, valuable sort of a person. Someone people, people can learn from, maybe people can work with you or just this energy of a useful sort of a person. This is how you come across. Two of Pentacles also shows a person who's busy. So you come across as a person who's busy, who has got a lot going on in their life. That's why there's so much movement and dynamic energy I was picking up earlier. Always working, always um, doing something. There's also, see earlier I said um, fire and water. So that conflicting energy. Here also I see that. We have the cheetah which is running. And then we have this card which says waiting. 
so i feel like or maybe a lot of people picking this pile that's why the energy is a little over all over the place or you could be a person who has this personality where you have this masculine side you have the feminine side and you kind of switch around a bit you're a little dynamic yourself or you're a person who's slightly more unpredictable or like i said the extremes where you're you're female but you maybe work or function from your masculine energy more and for the same thing for the guys where it's the opposite happening so i'm getting this uh, hot and cold energy this fire and uh, water energy coming through in this pile you could come across as a person who's hot and cold so sometimes you might flirt with others then you might pull back so you could come across as someone who's a little moody you are busy you have a lot of priorities you are someone who uh, maybe you have gemini placements you have a uh, placements in the mutable signs which are ruled by jupiter and mercury those are the mutable signs or you could also have a lot of planets maybe in air signs because air is also connected to a person who's changeable so overall this energy of a person who's a little dynamic hard to judge very interesting also you could also have swati placements i feel pile number 3 because it's ruled by uh, rahu note note and swati itself is a little more freedom oriented you could come across as a person who likes their freedom you will be like i want to be in a relationship but then you don't date so that's that conflict that i'm picking up also someone who enjoys being single so you might long for the partner you might long for a relationship but you love your independence way too much to give it up it's always giving me two of swords energy two of pentacles energy so being in two minds being uh, like that split personality sort of a person where uh, you kind of go back and forth on your opinions and views so you could have purva bhadrapada nakshatra placement pile number 3 or vishakha i'm getting a bit of kritika also vishakha is the split and purva bhadrapada the symbol is the two faced man so someone who's in two minds and we do have north node so this can be ardra and swati also that i'm picking up here uh, th- those are the two nakshatras i see a lot with people who enjoy their freedom a lot or people who like being on their own or conflicted a little misunderstood also okay so that's what i'm getting so far uh, you could also come across as a very charming person i feel with north node this is the charmer the it also gives me the energy of the magician from the tarot person who is very good at uh, achieving things uh, good at manifesting stuff making things happen right this is also gives me the energy of a person who doesn't compromise or who do, who's very stubborn like you will be someone who's committed to your goal and you'll achieve it by hook or crook that sort of energy is also coming through where uh, you don't give up very easily you're a fighter very de- very dedicated very passionate also and doing multiple things so you could have a strong mercury where you have this uh, quality to multitask or having a lot of desires having a lot of opinions changing your opinions having different priorities someone let's say working a job then having a side hustle i'm getting that strongly with mercury maybe you have a strong mercury pile number 3 you could have mercury conjunct rahu rahu is very expansive energy person people usually who go viral on the internet there's something going on in the chart with the rahu because it expands things um on a very large scale so these are the people who are drawn towards uh, foreign cultures also so you could be someone who maybe looks a little foreign or exotic or you have a lot of knowledge about different cultures foreign things foreign religion all of that so you come across as a very intelligent person very knowledgeable and uh, you have conflicting energy where people are not really sure what you want hot and cold energy people cannot really form one opinion about you that's why we see the twos repeating here and this is closed off energy as well so we have waiting we have the two of swords which is closed off and then we have stork which is movement and chita which is also forward movement so conflicting energy is here overall you are a little confusing hard to judge and you might contradict yourself rahu is also the charmer where people don't believe you they feel like it's a bit of smokes and mirrors with you we see a lot of uh, clouds and smoke here right and uh, not not is also someone who's attractive people are drawn towards you people find you interesting and you're different you're unique you stand out in the crowd 
that's what i'm getting and unique unique person also a uh, inventive sort of a thinking usually we see inventions that's more of a rahu uh, element coming through people who invent things because they stay on for a very long time they leave a legacy behind so these are the people north node people who have a strong north node in the chart who uh, create very interesting things and very different very your thought or thinking process is very unique people don't really connect with your logic that's the energy i'm getting here uh but definitely obsession maybe some people obsess over you and uh, placements let's talk about placements uh rahu co rules aquarius so somehow aquarius could be prominent in your chart or you could have let's say north node in the first house in the seventh house or let's say your ascendant lord sitting with the north node somehow north node could be prominent or you could have uh, uh north node nakshatra as prominent in your chart like i said swati ardra satyabhisha okay let's keep going here you got mentor also we have the sustainer so this is this is vishnu energy some of you maybe are um maybe you krishna vishnu um you connect with those those deities but this is the energy of sustaining things so someone who maintains peace so you are someone who will fight but then you'll apologize as well you are someone who will uh, speak your mind you'll defend the people that you care about but you'll also make peace you can be diplomatic also a little bit so again it's that energy of change going back and forth but overall you do like some stability you like some um, you like people coming together getting uh, along you prefer that over friction and uh, you also maintain things really well i've seen people who have this sort of energy these are the people who will uh, let's say you know certain people they get electronics and they uh, mess them up really bad they throw them away and the, then there are certain people who maintain the things they have so their phones they could have like a phone for a couple of years it still looks brand new pristine it's that energy of a person who takes care of things so you could be someone who takes care of let's say you and things look clean also let's say even if you use makeup your lipstick and stuff everything will be clean and it will look nice from the outside so that energy also i'm picking up someone who maintains things really well you're good at maintaining and you're very careful very um i don't know like very present and uh, that sort of a person also when it comes to relationships you always check in with people not someone who's just living in their own bubble you check in with people you take care of people and you uh, take some time out to maintain your relationships your friendships and uh, very organized again it's giving me mercury energy we have mentor so jupiter here some of you could have maybe mercury and jupiter conjunct in your chart with this mentor it's like uh, it seems like the uh, the owl is flying from like a away from like a disaster or something i don't know it's like you have this vision where you avoid disasters you could be a mentor of some kind maybe you teach other people you you could be good at teaching you have the natural quality of teaching others having a lot of knowledge and wisdom people looking up to you learning from you guiding others owl is also maybe you could also be a night owl maybe with the owl i'm getting but people look at you and they think oh this person knows something let me just learn from them yeah that's what i'm getting so far let's keep going you also got hanuman so see again that masculine energy is coming through and we have the masculine and feminine both we have the sun and the moon another thing i already spoke about uh, swati swati is connected to hanuman and i also see this space imagery in the back so it's making me think of ardra swati satyabhisha again satyabhisha is 100 stars so see we have this image of lots of stars also and rahu itself is uh, expansiveness so the sky is coming through again um so with hanuman it talks about freedom person who's free again person who has a lot going on in their life person who uh, is carefree a little bit of that carefree fun person that's your personality this is how you come across a person who's young wild and free i want to move these over here it's it it's spring okay so uh, you come across as a person who is slightly more masculine like i said and also someone who enjoys their freedom uh speaking of which i was just looking over peeking at the cards and we have this uh, card again here with the horses which also sometimes the horses can represent freedom 
okay and we have number 17 repeating twice maybe some of you could have a birth date and maybe it adds to 8 which is the number of Saturn one is Sun seven is Ketu some of you could have Sun Ketu conjunction like I said some of you could have planets in maybe Ketu nakshatra also I'm drawn towards the horses which is Ashwani nakshatra which is ruled by Ketu so some of you could have Ashwani nakshatra also we have butterfly transformation get ready for a big breakthrough Scorpio energy with the butterfly it's about a person who makes some sort of a change in their life you could be someone who's very changeable or uh, you change quite frequently you change your opinions frequently you know earlier I was getting that message also and this energy of action always taking action very impulsive maybe or someone who's always moving about maybe you travel a lot there's something going on you're very busy sort of a person so always uh, something going on maybe a little chaotic also lots of travel though and uh, this uh, white and black horse makes me think of a person who's very black and white see here also we see the black and white going on so person who doesn't think in grays but in blacks and whites uh, so see that's why you have these strong opinions because it's either or it's your with me or against me that sort of ideology you could have very passionate very blunt like I said earlier as well but movement action dynamic energy masculine energy is very strong with this pile this is how people see you someone who's a little fiery you people feel like you might end up uh, arguing with them and they see that you're always busy there's something going on they see you as someone who has an interesting life or an interesting personality and people especially the boring people who consider themselves boring they might feel like oh this person has so much fun or there's something always going on butterfly also makes me think of you know a lot of colors and hues lots of things going on and person who's always changing transforming Scorpio energy is also connected to recycling so something new coming about here also I'm drawn towards the infinity sign which makes me think of the number 8 Saturn energy so maybe uh, Saturn in Scorpio there's so many astrological uh, placements coming through in this pile. I don't know how to reconcile it. But this is also Mars element. We have Mars, we have North Node, then I spoke about Ketu here. So much going on. Scorpio energy, Aries energy with the horses. Anyway, we have mind control. It says concentrate the power of your mind for good. So you have the ability to influence other people for sure. With mind control, it's like you can read other people's mind. Or um, you try to control others, influence others with your opinions. Or you could be someone where people tend to listen to you or they get influenced by you. Um, either you attract a lot of people who are impressionable. I'm getting that energy. With the mentor also, it's like you're trying to guide others or to teach them something. People learn from you. People might also ask you for advice on stuff. Or um, maybe with their work, they ask for advice. Especially the people who don't have a lot going on. And they look at you and they feel inspired. They feel motivated. They feel like, oh, this person's interesting. And uh, I want to be more like them. So they might try to uh, ask you for advice and stuff like that. Overall, what I'm getting here... Okay, let me just go over this last card. We have uh, for Tarot, you got Ace of Cups, which is about fresh, new energy. Someone who's fun, vibrant. Um, flow always with the, this water. It's about flow. So there's a natural progression that's happening. And uh, there's also this energy of inspiration. With Ace of Cups, we think of inspiration. So you're an inspiring sort of a person. People feel inspired by you. And they feel uh, this, this energy of... Um, feeling impressed so when people look at you they feel impressed they feel like oh this person's interesting or uh, they feel curious about you there's a curiosity there's a feeling impressed by you and also wanting to get to know you a little bit more and just to see what's going on what's the of what is all the fuss all about that's the sort of energy i'm getting also some interaction wanting to connect with you ace of cups can also be maybe people ask you out you could be someone where people ask you out, people chase after you. Even though you're busy, you could be the, uh, there could be this runner chaser dynamic also happening where 
uh, in your relationships one person acts as a runner the other is a chaser you could also have this energy where you if you like someone you uh, go up to them so in this pile i don't see any hesitation there's always either you or the other party they approach the other person that's one thing i'm getting but yeah people are drawn towards your energy and they see some excitement ace is about new beginnings so inspiration feeling inspired by you also getting to know you they feel like okay now uh, something interesting is happening with transformation maybe you bring some sort of transformation in other people's life once you enter their life once they pe people get to know you you kind of change them in uh, in some way whether it's a small capacity or like a big impact but somehow you bring transformation into other people's life they learn from you or they feel inspired by you to make some changes or i don't know i'm just getting this energy of a change of new beginnings of fresh energy okay so that's the reading for you pile number 3 i hope this resonated and uh, if you want to support the channel consider becoming a member if you want to book a reading with me um i offer multiple readings in different styles so you can check those out on the ko-fi link if you have any confusion you can write to me and i'll and i can suggest which reading is better suited for you okay so write to me my email is also in the description and thank you for watching please your sh please share your thoughts on this particular reading uh, whether it resonated or not leave your comments and thank you for watching bye guys